been looking forward to doing this uh, true sim challenge over the last couple of days although I mean I do look forward to doing each and every single one uh, to see exactly what kind of challenge a course can throw at me whether it's an RCR or a fantasy course but uh, this one only released there just a couple of days ago I think it was either Saturday night or Sunday morning uh, it's just Tuesday evening now at the moment um, and I was tagged it on Twitter by GeForce41 this is of course Bluestream Valley Club now I've no idea to be honest um, I do have the TTC Tours forums open now at the moment I haven't read through the whole lot of it yet so I don't know if it's actually an entry into the TTC Tours uh, major design contest I genuinely don't know uh, GeForce if you do manage to catch this video yourself drop it down in the comments if it is or uh, if it is and I do have a little further look through the, through the post at the moment I'll uh, let you know but uh, now from the screenshot, he did a little teaser video on Twitter as well. Uh, Sean, I think it was the third hole as a par three, I think it is. And that was very good usage of the slope on the green there. It went long and to the right and came, brought it back around. Nice, a nice hole in one on that one. But uh, really looking forward to getting stuck into this course now and seeing what it goes. As you can see at the moment, now I believe this is just PS4 only. Anyway, it's 61 plays, so it's only a fresh course. Um really looking forward to seeing how we get in now we're going to do the usual obviously as we always do with the truce and challenge keep all course conditions at a uh, default he does say if i can find it pretty briefly um yeah he, he does give a little, little bits of write-ups here and there but he says uh, he does i designed the course with, uh from the gold tees with master clubs uh designed at 187 speed but moving to 18 or 179 before publishing to give schedulers more options i would recommend 187 for the best effect if you're so inclined, uh, fast and firm should work here. Greens and fairways are already firm and fast, but there is room to crank it up a little. It's definitely made to be played that way, but we're going to keep everything uh, on default, as was published by the designer anyway, as we do. All that we're going to do is the usual. What we do for them is we're just going to change up the wind speed. We'll see what we get anyway. We'll just spam the living hell out of this and try not to get a cramp in my hand while doing it. What have we got? None. Well, we know we don't do none, so we'll try that again. This brings me back to the days of Test Your Might and Mortal Kombat. Alright, medium wins we are going with this week. Uh, so, obviously, everything else is going to be kept at default. Right, so, create match. We're obviously going to be playing off the gold tees, which it is actually already set on. And they're going to be playing 7,605 yards. There is little write-ups for our brief descriptions for each hole. I'm going to I'll read them out as we get onto the tee. Of each one I do have the flyovers turned off again as I uh, normally do. We'll be keeping it on pin set one so the fairways and greens are going to be firm. Green speed is fast and uh, wait did I say green? Yeah green speed is fast. thought I said wind there because I was looking at that but wind speed is medium. Right let's jump onto the course and uh, see what see what's in store for us. Alright so here we are down the first tee and the first one is a uh, hole one par four is a 426 yards. Uh, simple start to get you going. Fairly easy drive to start as this medium length par 4 bends hard left around the water. So, right, okay, so we'll have a little look at the overhead. And yeah, I can see we do have water in play. Um, who really does bend hard. Now, it's th saying there are 335 to the pin. Oh, but we've got a headwind, so we're not going to be taking that on. Looks like we're aiming pretty much straight off. Uh, right where the hard our dog left dog leg left goals <clears throat> um, he does give a little write up as well about the greens he does say uh, while some are fairly large there are a, there are not a lot of undulations but some tearing and general slopes um, there are a few chances chances to be uh, to use said slopes wisely so I'm keeping in mind that third hole uh, but let's see what we can do I do have a shot distance back on I'm ranged again I said I'm not a complete lunatic, I'm not going to do it every single week. <laughs> anyway, and we're back to normal as well, I do have the, uh, the shot feedback off, looked like a decent tee shot. Yeah, it's not bad, nice and safe down the, down the left side. Beautiful looking course so far though. Been looking, as I said, I've been looking forward to playing this one. Okay, right, so I left with 120 to 130 yards into the green, up 8 feet, so have we got a marker? Right, we're just in front of the 132 yards, so I'll say we're at least 10 in front of that. We got about one. We'll split the difference. We call it 125, so we call it 128. The wind looks to be about eight mile per hour. So I'll take a gap wedge. Now the greens are firm, so I'll put about about half loft on it. It looked like an okay swing. If the wind can take it around, I might have pushed it or gotten a bit of a slow. Ooh. 
bit too much left. Right, we need to get a get a warm ball and it's running back down a slope here. Gonna be a lengthy first put. Gonna be at least 30, 35 feet, I'd say. 40 to 50, <laughs> that's a bit off on that. I'll go more towards 40. I'm getting flashbacks of what happened at Augusta during the Masters. Um, right, oh, it's doing that again. Bring it down slowly. All right, it's gonna break right to left. Sizable break on it. So the green speed is a 179. We know that already. Is it gonna turn? Oh, it hasn't got the legs or has it? That's a great effort. I'll take that all day. Great effort to get it up there. Decent read on it as well. It tracked very well all the way. So we'll open things up with a par. As we head on to hole number two, which is a par four, 449 yards, and a split fairway par four that features a mulch garden in mulch garden area in the middle. Choose your side wi uh, wisely. Okay, and see the mulch garden there in the uh, just off in front of us. We've got a tailwind. I think we're actually going to carry it with the angle of the wind. I'll actually bring it off the right hand side. It's playing 442 to the pin. It's a stroke index of 5 as well. But I think we should be safe down there. Yeah, that's coming nicely away from the, the bunkers. And pretty much split that section of fairway in two. It's going to leave us with 130 to 140 yards in, up 25. Ooh, now, right, 166 there. Oh, I have to get a feel for it again because I haven't actually played through Sim since uh, recording the last video. Um, split the difference again, I think. Just go 135. 135. Oh, we played a 140. It's going to be playing about 143 if it's. 135, alright, I'll tell you what, we'll go, um, what did I say there, 143, we'll go with a pitching wedge, I'll give it a little touch of D-loft, this is probably actually going to go long now, which is probably closer to the, closer to the 130, alright, looked like a good swing, it's not really coming across with the wind though, ooh, a little bit long, I think it did actually play a little bit closer to, uh, Actually, it was about the 135. That was 138 there, yeah. Left was a 14 to 16 feet. It looks like it's going to be slightly downhill left to right. Definitely left to right, anyway. Running down. Looks like a good break on it, though. Going to be gentle. They're not the fastest, but do need to be careful. Oh, is that going to turn? Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. Big misread on that one. Overhit it as well. <coughs> Alright, scramble the par, 7 footer, should be right to left slightly, nothing too major. Here we go, alright, so, par par to open it up. And where am I going now on the thread? Um, hole number 3, par 3, 214 yards. Hole location 1 is a tough one unless you can use the slope of the green behind the hole to bring it back down. And that's what I say, this is the one... I did do a little teaser video on Twitter where I used the slope and brought it back down and actually hold it out for an ace. So we can see the pin up there. Uh, of course, typical overhead view of turning the green sideways. So the middle and bottom bunker pr pretty much want the ball to be landing towards that direction. And then it should, going by the video that he, that he did put up on Twitter, it should feed its way back down towards the hole. Uh, so it's 2.11 playing about, what, 2.19? Call it about 210 with the wind. So I'm hoping. I'm hoping. I'm gonna I'm gonna aim it straight. The wind is trying to angle, but I'm gonna aim it about here. Oh the wind is really trying to turn around now on me. That should get it the extra distance. We'll follow the ball properly. Oh, I don't know am I getting it. Don't think I'm gonna get up that slope properly. Oh wait, hold on, hold on. Oh, it's coming back. It's coming back. Oh, beautiful shot. I'll take that. That's only left as well. About five or six feet, it looks like. Six feet. 
All right, let's see if we can take advantage of that great approach into the green. Looks like I might just want to turn slightly. Slightly right, and we do get a birdie, but I have to say, hats off to you though, uh, G-Force. That was a cracking shot in your little teaser video. Uh, hold on, it was just played beautifully around that slope. But we are one under through three. Anyways, we move on to hole number four, which is a par five, 607 yards. This long downhill par five is reachable with the wind, but it will take two blasts. Uh, how far you cut off on the tee on the tee shot is up to you. Okay. Um, I'll look at the overhead. All right, we should be going. Look at my sight lines. Yeah, pretty much just aim it a little bit left, just in case the wind does want to take it a bit too far. All but we should be pretty much going straight off the tee. Um, right. Let's see what this one can do. Oh no, I think I got a fast there and see a little bit of a bend to the left. Oh, this could run out fairway. Yeah, it's going to, and it's in the heavy rough. That was definitely a fast downswing there because it did hold straight against that wind. Um, so, looking at the overhead, looking at the pin right, we should. I think I'll just aim a little bit left to be safe. Take it down to the uh, four iron. Yeah, the the lie with the five wood is a bit crappy, so. Alright, that looked good. Oh, wait, hold on. This needs a kick. Kick. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Alright, we're back in the fairway. Um, we've knocked 189 yards off the, re the remainder of the hole anyway, so we are going to be left with, what, 100 to 110 and up 8 feet. Um, 87 there. Uh, 13, would you say we're about 23 yards out from behind that? No, I wouldn't say so. We'll split it and go 105, sorry. Uh, so I'm going to play about what, 108, right? That is going to be sand wedge without adjusting for the wind. We'll pop it out for the wind. I'll put a little bit of loft on. And oh, bear with me. My phone is trying to lock itself all right that looked decent oh but the wind is not taking around so it might have been another fast oh touch down around about pin high actually which i think was about the 105 106 mark gonna be a lengthy putt though let me 22 to 24 downhill Ooh, i think i can see some right to left leading to the hole there yeah, it's looking like it wants to be right to left. Probably reading this completely wrong, but it looks that way anyway. We'll just put it out a little bit. Just be gentle with it. 179s. That was tracking pretty nice if I can hold that line. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, another couple of touches out to the right, and that was going to drop in. Unlucky. But we'll drop it in for the par. All right, so we are gonna move on to hole number five, which is a par four, 438 yards. This par four turns hard left around a large waste bunker uh, with plenty of room on the fairway. The test is on the approach. So I'll look at the overhead again. Really loving this car so far. I know I don't have the flyovers on, but uh, obviously save a little bit of time in the video. <laughs> as much as you can anyway. Uh, it does go on a little bit long with it being true sim, but 3.05 to just after that dog leg. What way is the wind? Oh, it's a headwind. All right. So I think I can see that. Yeah, I can see that little bunker in the waste area there. So I'd say if we aim about here, that wind should hold it up. And keep it in the fairway. I think I pushed that a little bit. Look to go a little bit right off the tee. Ah, oh, we're okay. Nice to sight in the fairway. I try and get some good camera angles just to show off the different parts of the course as well. I won't always just chase them all. <clears throat> Alright, so we're left anyway with 200 to 220 into the green, up four feet. So I'll only be adding one on there. Um, 181 there. I want to go with being at least 30 yards behind there. Behind that 181. So that's going to be 210. So yeah, we'll split it and say 210, right, what we're going to do, I'm going to take a, oh, do I want to do a fast, 
fast could potentially go wrong with four iron. What I'll do is wind is about what a this could go really long. Where's the pin located? Sort of central latter half of the green. Alright, what we'll do we'll loft that up. This is probably as I say, this is probably gonna go completely wrong now. This is probably gonna go really long. If it is closer to 200 especially, looks like it's tracking around a little bit further than I wanted. Oh yeah, we are long. <laughs> we are long. But just leave us with a chip up to the hole anyway. 10 to 12 yards. Uh, tell you what, give me the pour. So you can have a little look at what way it's sloping. Looks... I'm sorry to judge here. I think it's going left to right. So, yeah, we'll definitely change back off the pour, not putting off the fairway. Let's give it a little chip. Oh, come on, turn, 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 turn. Oh, come on, don't be mean. Get in the hole. <laughs> I'm lucky that didn't drop there. Good chip. All right, let's see if we can save power. It should be a little bit left to right, or right to left, should I say. In we go. Actually, on the next hole, I must try and think. I want to try something uh, for reading the greens. I want to try something new. But anyway, at the moment, we're going to move on to hole number six, which is a par three, 173 yards. And it says medium length par three plays slightly downhill. Club selection will be key in the wind. So we've got a slightly angled tailwind slash cro uh, crosswind. 175 to the pin. So playing 173 to the pin. So right away, that's going to be a 7 iron. Oh, what way is that? Um, because it's flipping itself around now. Good bit of room to work with. Good bit of room to work with on the green. So we'll pop it out. With it being slightly angled, I'm going to pop the loft right up on it. The wind is trying to turn more into a cross window. Alright, decent strike. Can the wind just bring it around? I went out a little bit too far again, I think. Ooh, distance wasn't bad. Uh, I think I found a slope, though. I think I found a slope. Yeah, it's going to settle down. Alright, <clears throat> it's going to be a lengthy pull. Should be a, a... Going by the way the ball was running there, it'd be, yeah, it's a big left to right. 30 to 35 feet. And No, what I was thinking doesn't work, actually. It was... Um, Handicap 20, I think he uses uh, L2 and R2, I think he was using, in one of his videos there, he was using uh, the triggers to pan back and forth, unless it was L1 or no it wasn't them, so it must be obviously when you have the uh, the aids off, or on shall I say that it works, I must try it actually with the aids on because I always use the, the stick, but anyway, just aiming to get this one close. Gave it a four there. Oh yeah, it was closer to thirty or yeah, thirty. Thirty feet are right. Just needed a little bit more weight on it. Still a little bit of a testy put though for the par. Yeah, but we're in. <coughs> Five footer. Alright, so uh yeah, what hole was that? That was hole six, right? So hole number seven, par four, four hundred and twenty-eight yards. Um the first of the fairway bunkers shows up here. Uh, nice little. I'm getting onto the wrong wrong line here now. I'm mixing myself up. Yeah. So the first of the fairway bunkers shows up here. Nice little second shot to a green that wraps around the water. So let's have a little look at our overhead. And oh yeah, I see that nice little approach over the water. So 268 pretty much at the front of the bunker there. Um, how's the wind? All right, we can aim over the bunker. Wind should pull it away from that, and we should have enough breathing room then to touch down the fairway. I hope. Oh shit. That's holding straight. Oh, plugged. Yeah. <laughs> I must have gone fast again. I didn't even see what the yardage card was there. Right, I tell you what, I'm not going to be foolish. <coughs> Certainly not going to be able to get there in two. Uh, so this is going to have to be just just a case of... <coughs> excuse me. Clear my throat. It's really going to push right off the club out of bunker, but we'll just hit it here anyway. Get it into the fairway. Oh, that might be a bit too much. Uh, shite. Yeah, I <laughs> should have gone with it. A little bit more right or with a pitching wedge. So I want a heavy rough, 75 to 80. 
down a do we have a little marker um oh, i'll turn my head completely sideways try and read this <laughs> i'd say from what i can see with a 70 yard marker we'd go 75 so call it about 73 72 so pitch shot is what we want um definitely go with the 73 yards so it should come up a little short and then hopefully it can run Come on, we're it a little bit. Touch down to 59, touch down to 60. There's 70, so I think it was closer to the 80. No, but then again, maybe just a little bit over the 70. Let, oh, wait, hold on, give me a look at that again. I think it either is going to hold straight as soon as I hit it, or it's going to turn slightly left. Otherwise, it's going to be left to right. We'll just put it a little bit out again, just get it close. Played straight. Oh, come on, get in the hole. Just caught onto that. Gra uh, grabbed onto that right edge. I don't know what words I'm trying to get out there. Grabbed on, anyway. And dragged itself into the hole down the right side. Beautiful par save. As we head onto the eighth hole, which is a par four, 486 yards. Interesting long four. Gives you options off the tee. All right, well, I can see a bunker in the middle, what looks to be the middle of the fairway, anyway. And well, we'll sure we should definitely be carrying it. We'll be touching down somewhere around about that dog leg where the fairway starts the bottleneck, I reckon. Um, I can just is that a hint of that big bunker there, big fairway bunker, waste bunker? I just aim a little bit over because the wind is angling itself that way. All right, that looked decent. Now, if the wind can just pull it around. Oh no, it didn't pull it around. I'm pretty sure that was not a fast anyway, because I should have come a lot more left if it was. I just went a little bit too far over there. Um, right, 200 to 220, out of the heavy rough. Bit of a shitty line you know, with the even with the four iron. Um, 194 there. So I'm gonna say we're maybe a little bit closer. 215 maybe maybe 215 what i need to do anyway to be honest is just oh really bottlenecks there all right i'll tell you what we'll take a chance we'll aim it straight at the pin we'll hit it fast and just see if we can get good connection on it all right it's coming a bit left not enough though oh but it does barely kick itself out into the fairway all right so we're gonna have to do a Good approach shot in here now. Just save part again. 50 to 55 yards up to, up 10. Uh, no, I mean, if it's closer to 55, it's going to be playing 58. It's going to be this. I'll put a little, just one little touch of left on it. We're on a good upslope here. All right, looked okay. Oh, get down. Yeah, I played 50. I played 50 yards to it. Now, if I'd have done full loft there, that would have been a 48-yard carry. would have been just nice. Maybe with the angle that it was coming in, it might have just ran itself up down the rest of the way. Uh, There's going to be another lengthy putt, another 30, 35 footer. So, I mean, I'm not, again, making things easy for myself. It's going to break right to left. Again, let's just get it close. Oh, it's turning hard. Well, not too bad, not too bad. Got a 26 feet. <clears throat> Should. Oh, no, this is going to be a bogey. This is going to drop us back to even par. Going to drop us back. That's provided we do drain it. Oh, which we do. I thought that was going to run over the right edge. <laughs> Controller being thrown straight at the screen there. All right, so we drop back to even par for now. As we head on to the final hole, the front nine, which is par five. 556 yards. Downhill par 5, back towards the clubhouse. With the wind, this will be easily reachable. Against will be a challenge. So, we're right against the wind. We've only got about a 7-8 mile per hour wind at most, anyway. Um, narrow fairway. Narrow fairway. I think that little turn. That little bend in the fairway. Just before the 366 yard mark. I think we're going to be touching the way. Hold on. 
now actually i think right on the bend i don't know if you can see just after the 244 yard marker or just on the left side of the fairway there's a, there's a little bunker there i think we'll be touching down actually roughly around about there question is now where is it <laughs> i can't see okay that should be that bunker i can see should be that one so it should be about here all right we'll aim it here that looked like a little bit of a better strike oh come on get down get down get down yeah touch down pretty much if i'd have gotten a fast there and the wind was slightly different it might have been straight into that bunker on the left good tee shot 301 yards 240 to 260 oh yeah, what do we want to do um All right, we'll just oh bloody actually now that is that has gone pretty much right. Oh now we've got water. Just off to the left of the green, but I will take the two wood. We'll see what we can do. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna aim for a fast downswing, but get it to pull away a little bit. I think that's gonna come up short. Or oh, oh didn't plug in that waste area though. It's going to be a horrible pitch up onto the green. <laughs> uh, 25. Ooh, yeah, it's... Oh, my God. Um, crappy, crappy lie. Hold on, bear with me. The phone wants to lock itself again. Um, uh, I can't even see. Right, if that's nine yards to there. We're about there. We'll say we're roughly about 20 yards. I've got a 23 um i'll put a little touch i'll put a bit of loft on this this is probably gonna go completely wrong go really long but i don't think a flop shot of any kind kind is gonna get up there come on oh sit oh that was a beautiful recovery shot beautiful shot so we can still hopefully walk away with a birdie finish the front nine under par a little bit right to left get it in all right so we do we do secure the birdie anyway to finish it off the front nine so we head on to hole number 10 which is a par four 403 yards uh, another shortish par four with some smaller fairway bunkers the second shot is uphill over a waste area I'll have a look at the overhead all right we should be carrying that bunker in the fairway just after the 254 yards depending on the wind it's not bad i think we're looking yeah right dead in the center of the screen there is the uh is that second one there just after the 254 yards so we should i think i'm actually i tell you what give me a look i am actually going to keep it straight on hopefully no decent fast downswing should hold straight against that crosswind all right looks like i got it. it's holding we've carried the bunker kicks off to the right fabulous car so far though i'm gonna have to play this again now with with all the aids on it well actually to be honest after i finish recording this i need to load the course up again i got a bloody thumbnail um i'm have a good look around the course now because I'm, I'm really really liking it We've, we're left anyway at 90 to 95 in up 15 <sighs> again what do we go with uh if that's 71 i'd say We'll go in the middle, we'll call it a 93, so I'll say about 98. Alright, give me... Give me full loft. Actually, no, no, do you know what? I'm always doing that. Give me a touch of D-loft on the lob wedge. Touch of D-loft on that. So I'm always going with the fully lofted shots instead of just doing a little bit of D-loft. It's tracking around pretty well and beautiful shot in played about 93 we got 92 out of it left us at two feet even though it's only a little tap in you can miss them on true sim and that did have a little bit of a turn but it does take us to two under par as we head on to hole number 11 which is a par four 498 yards the tee shot favors a little right to left uh but the green favors left to right into a large two-tiered green Okay, so wait, that said, right, favours a right to left off the tee, and then a left to right off for the approach. <clears throat> Alright, that fairway bunker looks like it's going to be in and around the landing zone. We've got a headwind. 
We'll play for fast, hopefully pull it around, and if we can carry that bunker, um, should be just feeding into that. Turn to the left. Cannot see the ball. Oh, just don't be turning too far left. Ooh. I have no idea. Did that touch down? I'm actually, I am actually want to watch the replay there. Did that touch down in the fairway? I couldn't see the way that it landed there. I just want to have a quick look at the replay. <coughs> uh, just to see exactly where that touched down. Because that looked... I don't know if it was just me, but it looked like it actually touched down. In the bunker and forced itself out. Oh, probably about six inches to a foot. Just barely carried that, uh, carried the bunker. Just touched down on the fairway. Very lucky on that one. Um, but it's a lengthy approach anyway, and it did say left to right into the green. So two hundred to two twenty up six. Um, I really need to start watching my distances again <laughs> for using these yardage markers. One seventy two there. Um. 25 yards. I can't see that only being 25. No, I got about 30 35. So I would say 200. 208 maybe. Yeah, about 208 to 210. Right, I'm gonna need. Because from the earlier hole, the 5 wood didn't work. Give me a look what room we've got to work with. It's not too bad. It's favouring left to right into the green. So I'm gonna try try fast downswing with some fade, good bit of fade on this to bring it around. And a little bit left of the pin actually. Now I don't know if I got the fast there. Oh stay up, stay up, stay up, stay up. Oh just a little bit short. Worth the effort though. Might have been just a little bit too much fade on that. Leaves with a little 14 to 16 yards shot in. Anyway, um, let me look at what the chips are like. It's decent lie, it's not too bad. But I think we'll just go with a little, little half swing on the flop. It's about there. Oh no, that was that was too shy. That was. Oh, we're dropping another shot. It's gonna pull us back to one under. Unless I can drop this in 14 to 16 feet left to right. Ooh, here it doesn't, it looks like it's actually level at the pin. And it's actually looking right to left. Oh, I don't know if I'm reading this completely wrong. Yeah, it's looking from here, it's looking like it's just slight right to left. Ooh, played pretty straight actually. <clears throat> Looked like it played pretty straight all the way, so we are gonna take a bogey. And move it back to one under. Just about turned again. <laughs> what hole was that? Um that was hole number eleven, right? So hole number twelve is a par three, two hundred and one yards. Pretty little medium length par three over water. Plays about one eighty two yards to front hole locations. So Let's have a little look. All right, so we've got bloody overhead. Why does it keep doing that? Uh, 182, we're gonna be playing probably about 176 to the pin. I can't, it's confusing me now what way that's turned. Oh, okay, now I see it, now I see it. Or do I? Yeah, I'll have to turn my head bloody well upside down. Um, yeah, so about 180 or about 176 to the pin. We got a headwind. So I think, hoping, maybe just a little touch aloft, just a little touch, nothing too major. The six iron might be just nice on this. Oh, I cannot see that ball. Is it coming around? No, but it's holding pretty straight. Oh, but this could be good if it runs. Nah, it's going to die. Solid, solid approach. So not too bad. It's going to leave us 14 to 16 feet. I'm leaning more to I'm going to split it and say 15. Looks right to the left. It, it definitely is right to the left. Uh, slightly downhill. Let's be gentle with it. 
We'll hold that line. Oh, you're kidding me. Burned it over the left edge. But it leaves us with a short little five foot put for the power anyway. And again, it almost turned a little bit too much, but we do do manage to say the power, power stay of uh, one under for now. As we head on to hole number 13, which is a power of 584 yards. This one features a tee shot over three cross bunkers. And we'll play tough into the wind. And don't you know where... Oh, no, we have a little bit of a favourable wind, right? I can see three bunkers there. So that would be them. Um, 383 to just after that bunker. So I'd say we should be all right. If I can see that bunker, I see I can't see it from here. It's hard to make out, actually. We should be aiming pretty much about here. And let the wind pull it back around. I hope. <laughs> Although the wind doesn't seem to be like to pull it back around this time. During this round. Nope, that's... That's holding a bit too straight. It went out to the right. Oh, that is a shit tee shot. Oh, we are in trouble. It's a par 5, though. Par 5. So we're going to have a little bit of a longer approach in, but... Um, and a bit of bother. Right, we'll just hit the four iron. Up there. Get it back into the fairway. And I'd say that... Going by here, anyway, from where I can see the pin, is going to leave us maybe a sand wedge in. Could be wrong. 90 to 95, I wasn't far off, so it should only be a lob wedge, hopefully. 90 to 95, up 20. Um, if we say 90, that's 191 there. Um, yeah, I'd say, I'd, I, I'll go in the middle. I'd say we're about 90. We'll split the difference, we'll call it 93. So I'd say it's playing about 100 with that elevation. Um, so lob wedge, maybe a little touch of D left, should be just, just, not a little touch, should be just nice. I hope. It's close to the bloody 90, this is going along. It's tracking pretty well though. Beautiful hole, or beautiful hole, beautiful approach into this hole, that just stopped. Right at the hole, just slammed on the brakes. Don't think we need to read that one. Seven inch tap in. Or, well, it says eight inch down the bottom there. <laughs> What's an inch? That's what she said. Uh, <laughs> cheesy joke there. Um, yeah, we'll, ju we'll just forget that I said that. Uh, hole, <laughs> hole 14 is a, is a par 4, 427 yards. The tee shot could be the most interesting. Uh, the hole shares the fairway with 15, which heads back in the other direction. Okay, I, I see that there. Uh, so I'm going to play it on the right side anyway, because the way I see it on a technical level is the right side at the moment for us now anyway. is technically the, the, the 14th fairway. Um, 283 to dead on with that bunker. What's the wind? Oh, we have a wind with us, right? So we should be all right. It's downhill a little bit off the tee. Oh, that pulled a little bit. Oh, stay up. Please stay up. Oh, flirting with the fairway bunkers. <laughs> Feeds down a little bit to the left anyway. Alright, so that's going to leave us... 120 to 130, up 40. There's 156. And... We go, we'll go with 125... Split the difference again, say 125, and now it's up 40, so we'll add about 30, and now it's to be 135. 138 with that wind, probably in the region of about 130 with the wind, maybe. Um, so we'll go up there. <clears throat> probably gonna regret it, but we'll see what happens. Oh, that pull again. It pulled a little bit again, but. Distance wasn't too bad, a little bit short, 125 there, so I was playing about 130. Actually, no, maybe. Oh, bloody hell, I've got a slope. Shit, <laughs> we're off the green. Please actually do, yeah, come off the green. Please come off. Just about makes it off the green, right? So I'm doing a little flop shot to the hole. 
that would have been yeah up three feet that would have been an absolute nightmare of um that would have been an absolute nightmare of a, a putt had we stayed on the green right it looks like this is going to be playing about 20 yards so full left should be 20 we'll pull it back a little bit yeah i played about 22 to 23 actually <clears throat> I didn't check up a little bit quicker with the airfare and fast greens. Anyway, I think we could be dropping on another shot here. Looks a little bit left to right. Mm. Yeah, favouring left to right. Nothing too aggressive. Nope. Oh, I played fucking straight. And looking from behind, I was kind of, I was kind of thinking that, but looking towards the hole from the golfer, it was looking more left to right, and it was just very, very subtle. Oh my god, a trip of the lip to take a bogey as well. So we're going to drop back to one under par again. Uh, right, hole 15, a par 5, 592 yards. Going back down the hill, oh, going back down the hill the other way. This par 5, while long, will play the shortest and be the easiest to reach in two. Now we do have a bit of a headwind, and yeah, it's quite a bit downhill, 110 feet downhill to the pin from here. Um, right, can we see, yeah, I think I just see the rock work there and stuff in that waste area. So I'll aim about here. And I'm going to give it a fast. Just want to be sure though. Yeah, about there should be alright. Alright, see it trying to turn a little bit left against the wind there. So should have gotten the fast. Was that enough? Oh, you prick. <laughs> this is what I get for making stupid jokes. Um, right, 280 to 300. Not getting there in two. Not a hope. Um, I'm just going to have to take as many yards off as we can. Oh, now that's gone a little bit too far right for my liking. Yep. That's the thing as well. I mean, I don't even know how well I'm swinging actually because I have obviously got the shot feedback off. 110 to 120, making a fucking meal. Of it. This is the easiest hole in the course as well, stroke index of 18. Making a fucking mess of it. Uh, 110 to 120. Uh, 86. Mm, say, we're going the middle, say 115. Right, give me gap wedge. Maybe a touch or two of D loft. Maybe a little bit more just against that wind. It is slightly angled. No, that's not getting there. That's not getting there. Oh, it's on the green. It's running. Are we going to see the pin? Where the bloody hell is it? About 35 to 40 feet in that direction. <laughs> and it's up two feet as well. Jesus Christ. What am I doing? Um, and I did have a practice round as well before recording, but I just pissed around in the TGC Tours uh, CC Pro Society for that. Um, looks like it wants to go right to left. Give that a good bit of weight on it. Can it turn back a bit? I need it to stop. No. Oh, we're going to drop a bloody shot. Wait, that was a birdie shot, wasn't it? Alright, this par save, yeah, this par save. So, still a glimmer of hope that we won't drop back to even par. Mm, that's definitely, definitely gone right to left. 100%. Just barely missed it. Come on, hold that line. Oh, just about. Just about crept it in for the par save. <laughs> Alright, hole number 16 is a par 3, 238, I was going to say 300, 238 yards, the longest par 3 is next, a forced carry over water to a fairly large green that thankfully slopes back to front, alright, so it looks like we might have a little bit of a backstop behind the pin, by the sound of that, oh now that, that all depends, right, bloody overhead, uh, right we're looking at it, 
slightly angled. Right, plenty of room to work with now. 245, playing about 240. We've got a crosswind. Obviously, two wood is too long. It's going to have to be the five wood. 240, right. We're going to see if a fast can just hold pretty straight against that wind. It's only about six or seven miles per hour. Alright, looks... Alright, it's coming around. It's managing to come around a little bit left. Oh, come on. Turn a little bit. Turn a little bit towards the hole. No, no. That's the wrong way. Don't turn away from the hole. Turn towards it. Oh, looks around about 25, maybe 30 feet. Oh, a little bit closer, actually. 20 to 22. Sizable break, but it looks a bit left to right. Now, see, like, I mean, if I line it up here again, you can see clear as day, it's it's left to right. But over here, it, it doesn't look as severe. Usually, it's the other way around, that from this angle, I can read the puts a lot better. But I'm going to put it about here, anyway. Come on, turn. Turn. Ah, it's a little bit too far out. Wait, was perfect on it, though. Read it reasonably well. Let's tap it in, take the par. As we head on to hole number 17, which is a par 4. It's 358 yards. Next is the shortest par 4 on the course. Another score on opportunity. Well, going by what we've <laughs> had so far in the course, I don't know. Uh, it remains to be seen, but it's a stroke index of 14. I haven't even been reading out the stroke indexes for majority of the holes anyway. Um, 306, just after the bottleneck. We have a favourable wind to get up there. So... Gonna aim for what appears to be the bottleneck here. Oh, I pulled a little bit left. Don't think it was a fast though because it did come back around to the right. Oh, that should be all right. Just change the angle there. All right, what have we got now for the for the approach in? Shouldn't be nothing too major. Fifty-five to sixty. Um, I'm going to say there's 54 yards right in front of us, so I'm going to say we're at the 60 yards. Call it 65. So that should be a gap wedge pitch shot. And no, sorry, a sand wedge. 63 yards. Hopefully, with the upslope, this can check up a little bit quick, don't you? No, this is actually completely wrong. Or should we see what happens? Ooh, sit down, sit down, sit down. Yeah, played. Oh, about 59. That's not bad. Left is about 6 or 7 feet. Six feet. All right, so hopefully we can get up already here. Looks from here like it wants to go a little bit right to left. Oh, but then again here, as I say, it just... And even looking at the flag marker, the flag stick itself is perfectly straight on with that. Don't swing it yet, you clown. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm tempted to play this straight. Let's go right at the pin. Again all. All right, there we go. Did play straight. Well, trust your gut, Stephen. Trust your bloody gut. All right, we are back to one or actually two on the par. Sorry, I do apologise. Thought we were back to even there for a second. Uh, but anyway, as we head on to hole number eighteen, which is a par four, four hundred eighty-one yards, a medium length par four to finish with a forced carry over the stream to the eighteenth green. Hopefully, provides a worthy finish. So hopefully, let's have a little look. All right, there's the stream. Anyway, very shallow waters. Actually, from the overhead, it looks more like it's just darkened out terrain. But um, no, really enjoying this course, giving a great challenge on troops. And considering it's the very first time being on the course, but I'm uh, definitely going to give it a play again with the aids on as I say, and have a, have a good look around it. But right up there, three or four. Right, I think we'd be aiming about here. Yeah, well left of the pin anyway. So straight away down here. Did I push it, or is it just the wind? Alright, we're safe in the fairway, that's the main thing, and we're getting around that dog leg, I suppose you could call it, in the fairway. There's a little stream in the background. Alright, what have we got for an approach, final approach on this course? 150 to 160, up 6 feet. Uh, 176 there, so I want to say... Or maybe... Ooh, let me see. Right, 74 there, right? That's 74 yards from the pin. We'll call it 75 for argument's sake. I'll make it a little bit easier to work it out. Dividing that by splitting that in three. Actually, 25. 
I want to say... I want to say we're only about maybe 15 yards in front of that. So I would say... 160-ish. Yeah, about 160. Alright, we'll go with a... Go with a nine iron, slightly D lofted. Don't know if I trust the uh, I trust a fully lofted eight iron. Slightly D loft the uh, the nine iron. Now watch, it's closer to 150. <laughs> I'm not gonna completely screw this up and go along. Oh, looked like an all right strike. It's tracking pretty well. Oh yeah, I played about 158. I think it was. As I cross the hole, but it's not too bad. It's trying to come back around. It's gonna leave us what somewhere around about nine, ten feet. All right, ten to twelve. wasn't far off. Can we make it three under par? Now see here again. Like I mean, I've said it a few times. Like I mean, if you look at the actual flag stick, and then just below the wind meter, and you see the little white flag icon. To, like obviously the white flag icon, the stick for that is perfectly vertical and you can see the, the actual flag stick is slightly angled off to the right so it's going to break right to left <clears throat> you don't really see it from here but now i can see the right to left should break maybe no more than there it's only a subtle break all right maybe not <laughs> made a balls of that didn't i i wasn't paying attention to the, the way the ball was sitting at my feet so uh yeah gog shake <laughs> I was just I was fixating myself on the bloody flag. Uh, right, give us a little look. Want to be careful. Try and save par. Get in the hole. All right, two under par. We'll have to do it. I definitely, definitely going to play this course. Really enjoyed that one. Um, again, I say I have to load the course back up anyway to get the thumbnail for the video. Uh, but that has been my true sim challenge for Blue Stream Valley Club by GeForce Forty One. Only a recent course. I do highly recommend going out and giving it a play if you haven't done if you haven't done so already very very nice course really good work i've done on this one um if you made it this far in the video thanks very much for watching i'll talk to you all tomorrow for the next uh master assassin video on hitman 2 where we're going to be at sapienza in italy until then take care have yourself a good one and bye for now